二零二二年第十三、第十四條係有關於缺氧呼吸嘅，咁我哋先去解決第十三條先啦。佢係一條實驗嘅題目嚟嘅，我哋就想探究一下咧，喺唔同嘅受質底下，例如啦，我哋用唔同類型嘅糖啦，葡萄糖、麥芽糖、蔗糖同埋果糖啦，對於一隻酵母佢嘅缺氧呼吸速率咧，有啲咩嘅影響嘅？咁當然啦，我哋點樣去量度到一個酵母嘅缺氧呼吸速率呢？就係、是、透過啦，喺十分鐘入面呢，佢能夠產生幾多二氧化碳啦。咁所以啦，喺呢條題目呢，先考我哋個 I V 同埋 D V 啦。I V 呢就係用唔同類型嘅糖啦，而 D V 呢就係酵母喺十分鐘之後呢，係能夠產生到幾多嘅二氧化碳嘅。對於三個 V 都唔係咁熟嘅同學仔呢，就快快手睇返段片呢，温下書咯噃。就咁，我哋入題目啦。第十三條就問以下嘅。圖表啦，邊一個係最適合去表達到以上嘅數據呢？咁我哋就先睇 A 同 C 啦，佢哋都係一個錯嘅答案嚟嘅。A 咧係一個截線圖嚟嘅，你會見得到啦。嗰、那個 x a s s i 啦，就的確係用唔同類型嘅受質啦，咁係個 I V 嚟嘅，冇錯嘅。咁個 D V 咧就係我哋嘅 y s s 啦，就係、是、個酵母菌產生咗幾多個二氧化碳啦。咁但係啦，對於呢幅圖嚟計，其實用截線圖去表達呢一個數據啱唔啱呢？其實就唔係咁啱啦，因為截線圖呢係想顯示一個趨勢啦，係想作出一個預測啦，又或者啦係喺一段時間入面去比較下唔同類型嘅項目嘅。但係問題就係話啦，喺呢度你有冇時間見得到啊？其實你睇唔到個時間㗎。所以啦，對於截線圖呢，我哋最常見嘅呢個 x a s s 呢，就係擺個時間響樹嘅。嗱，陣間呢，我會畀啲例子大家。咁但係而家呢個情況啦，你又唔係研究緊個時間，你只係研究緊唔同類型嘅受質對於個酵母嘅缺氧呼吸速率嘅影響啫。咁其實 A 呢幅圖啦，係咪講緊一個時間上面睇到一個趨勢呢？其實我哋都唔係想睇呢一樣嘢。咁所以啦，我哋係唔應該用呢個截線圖呢去表達以上嘅數據嘅。跟住啦，就去到 C 呢幅圖咯，佢係一個散步圖啦，再加埋一條 best fit line 適配線，即係呢條虛線啦。咁散步圖有咩用呢？去揾下變數之間嘅關係啦，作出呢個預測啦，同埋啦，將兩組大型嘅數據呢去圖像化佢哋之間嘅關係嘅。而當中呢，我哋係唔會特別考慮時間嘅。咁你去諗下啦，咦，我哋係咪想去比較一下葡萄糖同埋呢個麥芽糖嘅關係啊？唔係啊嘛，其實我哋係獨立去睇呢四款糖啊嘛，咁我哋又係咪想做預測啊？都唔係喎，所以 C 呢都唔適合去表達以上嘅數據嘅。啊，就講埋 Option D 啦喎 ，Option D 呢都係錯，因為佢係一個派餅圖。咁其實派餅圖呢，佢係想去表達到某一啲事物嘅成分嘅。咁例如啦，一個人食嘅一個餐單，哦，佢食香蕉啦，食飯啦，食肉啦，食水果啦，咁我哋有唔同類型嘅百分比或者個比例㗎嘛，嚇，咁我哋就用派餅圖啦。派餅圖呢，其實都可以幫我哋去比較返特定組別嘅變化嘅。咁陣間我都畀啲例子大家嘅，而家啦，我哋睇返呢幅圖喎。如果啦，我哋將呢四個嘅數據擺埋一齊，擺喺個派測入面呢，咁其實即係暗示咗呢，佢係一個整體嚟嘅。即係佢哋 as a whole 嘅，但係問題就話啦，佢哋唔係一個整體嚟㗎嘛，係四個獨立嘅東西嚟㗎嘛，咁所以啦，我哋唔會話哦加埋呢就係一百 percent 啦，係冇呢個咁樣嘅概念嘅。跟住啦就去到 option B 啦，佢就係正確答案啦，就係、是、棒形圖咯。咁棒形圖呢，最基本嘅功能呢，就係比較下不同組別嘅數據啦。咁所以啦就係、是、四個獨立嘅個體啦，四款唔同嘅受質。對於嗰只酵母菌，佢釋放二氧化碳有啲咩嘅影響呢 x 族呢，就係我哋想去比較嘅類別，即係我哋嘅 I V 啦，嗰四款唔同嘅糖啦。而 Y 族呢，就係顯示翻我哋想去量度嘅數值啦，亦即係我哋嘅 D V 啦。Two two two question thirteen and fourteen is about the anaerobic respiration. So let's take a look at question thirteen. It's talking about an investigation. We want to investigate the effect of different substrate, including glucose, maltose, sucrose, and fructose, on the rate of anaerobic respiration of yeast. So how can we measure the rate of anaerobic respiration? How can we manipulate it? So we measure the average amount of carbon dioxide produced after ten minutes. 
So in this question, we need to check the concept that the IV is the type of the sugar and for the DV is the average amount of carbon dioxide produced after 10 minutes. So you can watch this video to do the revision about the three variables, IV, DV and CV. So let's take a look at the question, which of the following graph is most suitable for presenting the data in the table? So let's take a look A and C. A and C are wrong answer. Option A is a light graph, so it can show the trend, making prediction, and compare variables over a period of time. We can think about the investigation. Are we investigating the production of the carbon dioxide along the 10 minutes? Not really. So we just comparing these four items separately. Therefore, do we need to present the trend of the data? We do not need. Therefore, we do not need this line graph. And for option C, it is scatter plot with the best fit line. The best fit line is this dotted line. Okay. For the scatter plot, it can help us to find out the relationship between the variables, making prediction, and visualize the correlation between two large data sets with the regard to the time. So as what well, I mentioned that this experiment, we want to investigate these four types of sugar. What is the effect? On the rate of the anaerobic respiration. One question we need to think about is that are we going to finding the relationship between glucose and maltose, sucrose and fructose? Not really. We are just comparing the four data separately. Therefore, we do not need the scatter plot. And then let's take a look at the option D. It is a pie chart. So for the pie chart represents the composition of something, for example, a diet of a person. He ate 10% meat, 20% uh, vegetables, 30% uh, carbohydrates, something like this. So it is the composition of something. Or it shows the percentage of the proportional data, just like the example of the diet. It can also help us to compare the change within a particular category. So I will give you some example later. So what if we were really using the pie chart to represent the data? It implies that the glucose, maltose, sucrose and fructose, they are regarded as the whole thing for the yeast to perform the anaerobic respiration. But that is not the aim of the investigation. Therefore, option D is also wrong. So finally, option B is the correct answer. It is a bar chart because it can help us to compare several categories of the data. So we are comparing the effect of the glucose, maltose, sucrose and fructose on the carbon dioxide production by the yeast. And in the x-axis, it presents the category being compared, which is the type of sugar, the IV. Meanwhile, the y-axis presents the measured value. It means the DV.